Hi everyone, hi artists. Uh, for those of you who I have met, to my students, to my campers, my family and friends, I just want to say I miss you and I can't wait to see you again very soon, hopefully. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Miss Emerson or Emerson and I'm so excited to read with everybody. Today we are going to read one of my favorites. It's actually called If Picasso Painted a Snowman. The front cover looks like this and it's by Amy and Greg Newbold. Um, I chose to read it today because of all the crazy weather that we've been having. So recently spring has started and the winter has definitely come to an end. So we're gonna read about some of our snowman friends. If Picasso Painted a Snowman. If someone asked you to paint a snowman, you would probably start with three white circles, stacked one upon another. Then you would add black dots for eyes, an orange triangle for a nose, and a black dotted smile. But if Pablo Picasso painted a snowman, it would look like... Let's see... This. Not all artists paint the same. Can you find J.M.W. Turner's snowman in the blizzard? Kind of hard to see. Lamb! Roy Lichtenstein's snowman hero saves the day. Georgia O'Keeffe's snowman wouldn't bloom long in the desert. A patchwork quilt, soft and cozy, wraps up Gustav Klimt's snow family. How many snowmen hide in Claude Monet's haystacks? A dust-colored snowman watches Pablita Verde's ornamental birds. Jackson Pollock painted his snowman splish splash splat. In Salvador Dali's winter fantasy, snowmen drip like melted cheese. Rickety rack, a sick snowman drives Paul Klee's wire car. Mark Chagall snowman cavort in a big, bright circus ring. Dot upon dot upon dot. Here's a snowman by Jorge Serrat. Piet Mondrian snowman is square. Do you see a carrot anywhere? Circles surround circles as Sonia Delaney's snowman spins. The rhythm of the street makes Jacob Lawrence's snowman smile. Vincent van Gogh's snowman swirls and curls in the wavy hills. And Grant Wood's famous snowman gothic will never melt away. What would your snowman look like? All right, now that we have met some of these artists and explored the tricky names that they might have, we might mess up on how to pronounce them right away, but that's okay. We've looked at all of their styles and I have two different challenges that you guys can try at home. Number one is you can create your very own snowman in your style. This means that you can look um, like at the snowman that we started with at the very beginning um, or create one with crazy and different lines and textures like the snowman we saw. 
you can pause and go back to one of the images to look at one of the pages if you need to see the snowman again. Um, and the fun part about it is that if you don't have paint, you can use pencils, you can use markers, you can even use crayons to create it. It's super easy because you can come up with any material. And I'm going to use my sketchbook to make it, but printer paper works just fine too. So let's see what we can do, and if you can make a new snowman friend, I'd love to see it if you send it to me. And then number two is if you are a little bit of an older artist, um, this might be the perfect project for you. So we explored a lot of different artists, like I said, and all of their styles. So my challenge for you is to look at one of those artists you saw, and you can start it by searching on the internet if you have permission, and find pieces of their work, explore their style, and anything else that really interests you. And then once you've made it and you're ready to try something that you've learned, you can maybe take your piece out on a nice day like this and splitter splatter it just like Jackson Pollock. Or maybe you want to tell a story like Jacob Lawrence on yours and draw that out. The possibilities are really endless, guys, and nothing ever stops you from creating. So thank you all very much, and I can't wait to read with you again.